Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another makeup tutorial for the fall time. This is look number three. So I chose this like really gorgeous cobalt blue for the eyes. You can definitely tone down the lips and go nude if that's what you're more comfortable with. And let's just go ahead and jump into the tutorial. I'm starting off by priming my eyelids with this Lorac primer because we're gonna be working with some really pigmented colors and I'm also bringing that underneath my eyes. And then I'm going in with this crayon stick by Jouer. So I'm just applying that on the lid of my eye and then spreading it out with my ring finger and then I'm going back and intensifying it just at the very base of the lid. And then I'm going into this gorgeous color by ColourPop. This is called Baby Tea. It's one of their new fall shadows and I'm patting that in with a flat shader brush. And then I'm going into this color called Melrose and I'm gonna be using this in the crease. The color looks kind of bright and intimidating, but we're going to be diffusing this color quite a bit. So take your time blending this out all the way from the outer V to the inner corner of the eye. And as you can see, I'm just doing circular motions and I'm also doing windshield wipers at the same time. So I went ahead and sped it up, but this is exactly how much time it took me to diffuse that color. Then I went into my Lorac Pro palette and used the color Espresso and I looked straight ahead so that I could find where my crease was and I went ahead and placed the shadow first, a little bit above my crease just to make my eyes appear larger. And then I went in with windshield wiper motions and finished applying that shadow in the crease. And then I went in with a clean blending brush and blended those colors together. So you can see now that that color is really diffused in the background. So I went back and reapplied that blue shadow because I did lose a little bit of it while I was blending. And I just cleaned up the edges with a makeup remover wipe. So I also decided to do a cat liner and I do have a full, full tutorial on how I do my liner in case you missed it. I will leave a link down below. And I applied some falsies. These are by uh, Eyelure and I will leave the style name down in the info box. Now for foundation, I did use my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I just applied that with my Beauty Blender and then I went in and highlighted and concealed with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. You guys have seen me do this a billion times so I didn't want to go too much in depth. And then I just set everything with a loose translucent powder. I have been loving it using my damp Beauty Blender to set all of my powders. I just feel like it gives me a more flawless finish and it really gets that powder deep into to the skin so it doesn't look like it's just sitting on top of your skin. So once I did that, I went back to finish working on my eyes and this is a Super Shock Shadow and 5H03 by ColourPop. I used that on my lower lash line. Then I went in and tight lined my waterline with the Butter London uh, liner and I wanted to bring a little bit of that burnt orange color down into my lower lash line so I went in with a uh, pencil brush and just used that to diffuse that color. I also added some mascara, this is by Chanel, and I went ahead and just connected my natural lashes to the false lashes a little bit. And I really wanted the lower lash line to have a little bit more gold. So I went into this Tarte Smolder Eyes uh, pencil. I actually got this in September's BoxyCharm. I should have done this before I apply mascara, but I didn't know I was gonna change my mind, but I went ahead and just apply that to my lower lash line and then use the smudging part to blend it in. So now to contour the face, I'm using the Anastasia Contour Kit. I really like this Sephora brush. I believe it's the number 43 face blush brush. Um, I like using the flat edge of it to place the color exactly where I want it. And then I go back and blend it out. This brush is really fluffy, so it makes it really easy to blend all of those colors out. I also brought it down into my neckline and the temples of my face, as well as my forehead. And I also use that to uh, slim down my nose a little bit as well. You guys are probably tired of seeing this blush, but it just goes with all of the fall looks. It's called Peach Bouquet by Jouer. And then I went into this highlight uh, also by Jouer. I just, look how gorgeous this looks. I feel like it ties in that gold color underneath the eye so perfectly. And it's not an overly metallic highlight, so it doesn't overpower the eyes or the lips. It just looks gorgeous. When you turn from side to side, you can really see it glowing. And I also took that down the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow. For my lips, I decided to use this color by Kat Von D. It's called Lolita. And I wanted to intensify that blush a little bit more, so I went back and added just a little bit more blush. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you go and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Remember, I put out beauty videos during the week and lifestyle videos on Sundays. And I will talk to you guys on my next video. Mwah. Bye.